YouTube, what's up? Ricardo Barber here. We're gonna do a high ball fade with long hair on top. This is a long time client of mine. You guys probably seen him plenty of times before back in the day. We got plenty of videos on him, but uh, I'm gonna have a lot of tips for you. Check it out. First things first, we're gonna saturate the client's hair with water. Get everywhere wet, this way it's easier to cut. Go ahead and comb the hair into your fingers for um, the desired length. You're gonna go ahead and just cut and repeat this process. Keep combing hair as you're going backwards into your fingers, um, holding a comb with your thumb and your pointer, and then just making the chop, all right? Go all the way around the head with that. Next, make your ball guideline. Uh, I'm gonna do a nice high ball fade, so I'm gonna bring it above the ear a good amount. I'm using my low pros with the uh, gold FX blade, the original, again, did a video on that the other day, nice and sharp. Cuts very low, makes my work a lot easier. So just go ahead and do a straight line around the head. All right, so once that's completed, go ahead and go around the head against the grain with an electric shaver. This will go ahead and bring the hair super low, nice and bald. You'll be able to feel like it's pretty much just skin. So I'm gonna go ahead also with my hand, I'm gonna rub against the skin. This way I know if I cut all the hair properly and if I feel any kind of patches of hair, just go over it again with the shaver. It's a nice little quality check. All right, now grab your clipper, open the blade up. You're gonna be cutting to the longest length that I can cut to. Make a one inch band on the side of the head. Keep the settings the same, add your one guard onto it. Make another one inch band on the side of the head, just above it. Continue that process all the way around the head. It's not an easy haircut when someone's um, the grain direction is going in a whole different direction. It's going sideways, so. Just be careful of that when you're cutting hair. All right, now once that's complete, grab your comb. We're gonna do some clipper over comb action. You're gonna kind of swipe up and pull the comb out a little bit. This way you're not cutting too much hair off. Ready to cut the hair, make sure your clipper's in an open position, cutting the longest length it can. And just swipe the clipper across the actual comb. That'll cut the hair off and it'll pretty much take care of almost all your guards as far as blending goes. You're gonna have to use one guard and that's your 316th. You're 
gonna go against the grain with a closed, it's your one and a half guard, for those who uh, don't know what a 316 is, um, and go against the grain, and it'll just lighten it up, and if you're gonna see where you're blending, it's gonna blend right into the top of the hair, you can call that a day. All right, once that's complete, grab your uh, half guard, and you're gonna start blending upwards, and now you're gonna start taking out that second line you put in. So close the clipper about halfway, start blending down, close it a little more, blend down a little more, and when it's fully closed, when your lever is fully closed, that line should be gone. You should be blending within a quarter inch above that line to give you some room to blend out, and it should be out of there if you're doing it right. Sometimes uh, the person's hair can make it harder for you, so if it's not perfect, don't worry. Next step, you're gonna blend below the initial guideline. You're gonna close the clipper halfway, start cutting down some more. And again, the lower you go, the lower you cut. So you're gonna go ahead and close the clipper a little more each time you go down. By the time you're finished blending that guideline out, you're gonna wanna finish it fully closed with the clipper within a quarter inch of where it existed. So when you put the line in, Make sure you're within a quarter inch above it. This way you, you give room to blend out and you won't see any lines or you won't see any heavy weighted areas where it's dark to light too quick. It makes everything smooth. If you see any spots that are too dark, go ahead right now. If it's too noticeable, clean it up. Put a guard on whatever guard you need for that area and clean it up. And repeat this process around the rest of the head. Same thing. I'm gonna take this time real quick to mention that if you guys haven't voted yet, uh, if you could, I'd be you know, truly appreciative. Um, there's a, a link in the description below. Uh, check it out. If you can, it's for a CT uh, Barber Expo Grammy. It would be a honor to uh, receive one. I'm doing very good on votes, so I wanna thank you guys um, for tuning in and actually voting. Um, but we haven't won yet, and it's gonna be in the second round very soon, so if we can keep them going, That'd be great, guys. Again, um, confirm it with your email. Check your email. Check your spam folder. Just confirm your vote if you are voting. Again, truly appreciate it. You guys are the best. Wouldn't be here without you.
All right, now I'm gonna create a nice straight guideline coming down and under the chin. And again, using these low pros, it makes real quick work of doing sharp lines, as you can see. I'll just roll right through this, no problem. I'm gonna clean up just above the lip and right over the top of the mustache, keeping things pretty natural only because it's the way my client wants it. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep it nice and thick and do the same thing with the side cheek area where the hair is on the cheeks. Kind of come down just a hair to where it kind of gets dark. You got to kind of find like a happy medium of what you want to take off. And again, I'm coming in real light. I'm just cleaning up all the hair on the cheeks. I'm going to repeat that on the opposite side. All right, for the front shape up on the on top of the head, I'm gonna go ahead and start from the center, working my way outwards. And once I'm in the corner, I'm gonna kind of square off the sides 90 degrees. This way it's a nice box, but very clean and very light. We're not gonna take it back too far at all. And we're gonna lead it toward a certain part on the eyebrows where it, you know the angled part meets. And if you complete that on both sides, you'll be able to make sure you have nice symmetrical lines. Now it's safe to go ahead and grab your razor and I'm going to go ahead and go against the grain while stretching the skin nice and light. This, this razor here is barely gliding on the skin this way I don't create any irritation. So do this um, everywhere you're going to dry shave. This will give you the nice sharpest line again while not creating irritation. Use the front quarter inch of your blade whenever you're doing any kind of radius areas, areas that are round. This way you can kind of um, get in nice and tight and create a clean look. This way it's nice and sharp. Uh, just watch the angle of the blade. This way you don't accidentally nick or cut the person. Time to introduce some uh, Black Widow uh, Shave Spray Solution. It smells like peppermint, it smells like Christmas in here. This stuff is excellent. You just spray a bunch on, kind of mix it all around, spread it everywhere. This way, you know, it actually penetrates all the hair follicles and, and opens up the pores of the skin. This stuff works excellent. Literally, the hair comes off like butter. It reminds me of the old Elegance when they first came out. Uh, something about that formula, it was just scaring the hair away from the skin. I swear it was it was butter. And then they changed, you know, they kind of changed their formula, got thicker, wasn't as good. This stuff reminds me of when they first started out. 
So go ahead and guys, check this stuff out. I'll have a link in the description. Um, I have two bottles. I grab two bottles at a time because this stuff's amazing. As you can see, it's just cutting the hair off, no problem. Yeah, it might be some of the best stuff you have. Wow. Okay, well that was fast. But here's the finished look. Hope you guys like it. Here's a full 360, this way you guys can see. Very consistent all the way around with the fade. Um, you know, I hope you guys learn uh, a couple tips, especially with the clipper over comb, and that helps you out. Don't be scared to try something new, all right? Try to always be better. So again, here's another view. Hope you guys liked it. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Let's get some views. Uh, I appreciate you guys. Again, I will catch you on the next one. Peace out.